She's um, taken a chisel to the external layer of the branch and or the log, and she's like really chiseled away that I think everything that's rotten almost except for this part in here, and um, she's kind of created these crevices for um, her mashed up pulp to flow through. So, um, in terms of um, an adjective, I would use to describe her whole process in terms of um, the piece relationship between hard and soft, I think it's self-referential. Um, first of all, you know, she performs the act herself. She goes about, you know, getting this artificial um, wood-derived pulp and um, then pours it all over. And uh, it's also non-compositional because she's not actually, like, kind of making the form or the soft form by hand. She's actually allowing the gravity to kind of create that as it flows through these. Um, maybe the point where it is compositional is that she has chiseled out these um, rotten parts. And Unless we find out that that's just where the wood rotted. Yeah. I guess, yeah, there are a couple of questions that come up in that then, like, are those really the places that the wood rotted? And also I noticed that she had placed certain pulped, like compressed pulped pieces already inside for us to sort of get an idea of what might come of it before the performance. So. Um, that's one of the things that I might not have done because um, I think that people might be able to intuit or sort of um, there would be a more open interpretation as to what the work was about. Maybe if you didn't put it in at first. Because I think the, the paper thing makes it um, very apparent about this kind of idea of, you know, process natural raw products and um, what we do to, you know, to the environment. So 